Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation involving square root from here? We have square root of x plus 2 root x minus 1 equals to 3. Now, from here, we can square both sides. And the square here, we remove these square roots. And this will remain x plus 2 root x minus 1 then 3 square here is 9 then from in the next step we can take this x to this side then we are going to have 2 root x minus 1 to be equals to 9 minus x from here then also from here we can square both sides again so this Square here, we affect these two terms here. So we are going to have 2 square, which is 4. Then this square will cancel square root, left with x minus 1 from here, which is equal to the expansion here, it gives us 9 square, which is 81. Then plus x square, then minus 2 times 9 times x which is minus 18x from there. Then from here, when we open this bracket, this will be 4x minus 4, which is equal to from here, this will give us x squared minus 18x plus 81. Then in the next step, we can bring everything to one side. Let's take this side to this side. So if this side remains zero, same thing as writing the zero on the other side. And then when we rearrange now, this will now be x square minus 18x, then minus 4x, then plus 81 plus 4, which then be equal to zero. So this will now become x square minus 22x then plus 85 which is equal to 0 from here we can factorize this and the two factors of 85 that will give us minus 22 is minus 17 x then minus 5 x so this will become x squared minus 17 x minus 5 x then plus 85 equals to 0 then when we group this to two. What is common between these two here is x, which is now the meaning x minus 17. Then what is common here is minus 5, which will mean x minus 17 as well, then equals to 0. Then from here, x minus 17 common, we take it out, then we mean x minus 5, which is equal to 0. Then from here, the two cases are x minus 17 equals to 0 or x minus 5 equals to 0. Then we have x equals to 17 here, then x equals to 5 here. So these are the two possible values of x. Then we check which one actually satisfy this given equation from here. So let's put the first one, which is x equals to 17. So here, when we substitute the value of x, which is 17, so this will be square root of 17 plus 2 root 17 plus 1. Will this be equals to 3 from here? Then from here we have sorry please this is 17 minus 1 from the given equation then from here this will be 17 minus 1 here that's 16 square root of 16 is 4 then we can say this is square root of 17 plus 2 times 4 from here is this going to give us 3 then here we have 2 times 4 of course that's 8 we have square root of 17 plus 8 that's 25 is it going to give us 3 
Now, square root of 25 is 5, which is not equal to 3. So, now, we can say that 17 is not, you know, a solution here. Now, when we have x equals to 5, we substitute. And uh, this equation becomes 5 plus 2 root 5 minus 1, that's x minus 1, equal, is equal to 3. Then, when we check from here, This will give us 5 minus 1 here, that's 4, root 4 is 2, so we have square root of 5 plus 2 times 2. Is it equals to 3 from here? Then 2 times 2, that's 4, and then 4 plus 5 will give us 9, so square root of 9 is the same thing as 3. Then root 9 is, of course, 3, which is equals to 3. So we can then conclude that therefore the value of x in this given problem is 5 and uh, not 17. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Also turn your notification bell on and share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you. See you next class then. Bye for now.